back. That's the thing. Even when the weather is bad, Newfoundland is beautiful, isn't it? Jeez, just gorgeous. Love it, love it. Uh, so we do have some rain moving in over the next couple of days. No big storms until the weekend. So there's certainly something on the horizon, just not quite yet. Uh, the threat of thunderstorms across Nova Scotia, it's not everybody's going to see it, but the threat is there for non-severe thunderstorms. We're going to put Kings County in there as well for uh, PEI. You've got the threat too. So we've got the warm front pushing in, temperatures will warm right up, and then we've got the cold front to follow, and in between we could see some unsettled weather. Uh, so this will be your rainfall over the next couple of days, 10 to 20 millimeters at the highest. We see that for the western shores of Newfoundland, less than 10 millimeters for most of the Maritimes, and same thing for much of eastern Newfoundland. So you're not going to certainly see the worst of this. Temperature-wise, looks like this in the west, a little on the cool side for Wednesday morning. In the east, St. John sits at 6 degrees, not that bad. And then for the afternoon, temperatures will be quite mild as mentioned. So temperatures in the teens, well, uh, but temperatures all across southern Ontario were in the high teens or low 20s. The hot spot being St. Catharines in the Niagara region. Uh, temperature there 22.9 degrees. So let's call that 23. What a warm day, but it was windy too. Some uh, places saw thunderstorms and showers. It felt almost summer-like, didn't it? Tuesday, into Wednesday. Yep, temperatures are going to drop significantly in blue. Those will be your daytime highs. So what a contrast. Make sure you tell the kids because they tend to think if it's warm one day, it'll be warm the next day. It won't be. It'll be cooling off. Uh, so there you go for Wednesday afternoon. Some clouds, a few light showers. Okay. That's fantastic. I think that should go in around the world. Okay. Uh, so Wednesday morning. Yes, we still have some fairly gusty winds. That's what this is illustrating as the front moves through. So look at that. Look at those winds. So these are sustained winds 40 to 60 in the red as the cold front moves through. So that tends to be what happens. You get an area of low pressure uh, advancing and the winds tend to pick up. So you know there's going to be a change in the weather. There's the threat of thunderstorms along the cold front. Not everyone will see them, but uh, we certainly did see that kind of weather across Ontario with the same system. So we anticipate that it could happen for you as well in Nova Scotia. Uh, it, now we have ten, less than 10 millimeters for Nova Scotia at this point in time. Oh, PEI, you have the risk of thunderstorms as well. If you get a thunderstorm, obviously you're going to get more than 10 millimeters of rain. If you don't see a thunderstorm, less than 10 is likely. So that's how we explain it. Heavier rain along the western shores of Newfoundland and towards the mouth of the St. Lawrence. St. John's, there's your long range forecast. A big warm up with the warm front on Thursday, back down to eight degrees for Friday. D2, yeah, yeah, you have to have a sturdy one or it's not worth it. Temperatures are about to cool though behind that cold front. So it was one day of really mild weather. You're going to get back to more seasonal temperatures. There is the cold. And in the north, northern Ontario actually seeing snow, 10 to 15 centimeters of snow expected in Pickle Lake. Oh goodness. Okay.